hello guys so welcome back to our channel so today in this video we will be discussing on how to transfer data between two application that is in flutter and this is this video is the continuation of the previous video which was about a desktop application now in this video we will be creating a another application that is a mobile application this will be a client side for transferring the data between two application so without any further delay let's get started so guys previously uh, we have covered this topic on the server side creating a desktop application uh, of starting a server and you can even stop a server to starting and stopping a server uh, or as you can send a text if we send a test there has to be a device which is receiving this uh, this data so today in this video we will be covering that topic that is the client side so now let's start with the application mobile application so basically for the client side we will be building a mobile application so now navigate to pubspec.yaml and uh, add this dependency of get uh, for uh, managing the state of application ping discover network is for uh, checking the network and device info for getting the information on a device and after adding this dependency hit control s or else click on this icon and uh, now let's navigate to main.dart file remove all the comments and hit control s and let's remove all the bipolar red code which we don't require it. create controller the dart file for managing the state of application and one more file called client dot dart so now you just copy this two line which we required in this import that module and let's create a class of client model oops and here we need to pass the host name print or oh, sorry int port then you in callback on data and dynamic callback on error and create a constructor for this client model this dot host name comma this dot on data comma this dot comma this dot now let's add a required statement now next here after this to track on whether it is connected or not we will be calling we will be declaring a variable of is connected uh, by default it, uh, we will mention as false and we need to add this socket to Oops, socket and socket ok now let's import this dart.io so now let's declare a function for connect so basically this is for discovering the network and to connect on that particular network so here after this let's add a socket dot connect to host name which we are getting from this uh, client model and the port in which we will be connecting and let's declare a way of socket sorry oops uh, socket and since it is a asynchronous function we need to add a way async over here since it is a future function we need to add future and void so now after this we need to type socket dot listening to that particular uh, socket in which we are connected and this is for on data so basically over here this is taking this is taking a uh, this is a event is a function of u int 8 list so we are declaring uh, a u int list callback over here so instead of this we can add on data and when we ha have an error we need to handle by on error and when 
the when we are done with the particular connection so now after when we are done with that uh, particular transferring data uh, we need to disconnect from that particular server right so for that so for that so now let's declare a device info variable which is of device info plugin and uh, after this let's mm, the value of info and since it is a asynchronous function we need to add a sync and of it and after this device info dot android info so now let's create a function for disconnecting from server so now uh, to disconnect let's create a function for disconnect oops disconnect and here we will be asking the uh, android device info and uh, when we are disconnecting we will be sending a message to the client uh, server as this uh, that particular device name got disconnected so that it will be printed in the list in, in the list in the form of this over here so for that now uh, before disconnecting we need to write a function for sending a message so for that we will declare as write and inside this function we will be passing a message and simply you need to write socket dot write this message and put socket and uh, now after this you will declare a string of android let's say dollar android oops let's simply copy this dot device and uh, before this brand got disconnected now after this we will be writing this on the server uh, before disconnecting so for that write this message and uh, uh, write a condition of if socket is not equal to null then we will be destroying the socket means uh, basically disconnecting from the socket and now you simply need to pass disconnect and the device info in the connect function and after this let's say connected is connected is equal to true and when it's done we need to update the is connected as false and basically we need to wrap this under try catch and let's say debug print and that error statement import this material dot that so now here uh, after this now let's go to controller and uh, let's create the client controller for managing the state of our application extends get x controller and, uh, over here we need to import that client model and let's say client model over here and import this get package get dependency stuff message is a list of string for logs and uh, let's say port int port is equal to thousand we are declaring a variable for network stream for net network address so basically network stream is for uh, streaming whichever uh, network is there in that particular connections override of void on in it and inside this super dot on in it 
and now let's declare a function for getting the IP address so now uh, for getting the IP address we are using network analyzer dot discover to and the subnet and the port port we have declared over here and we need to uh, now mention the subnet so subnet is basically go to that server code and you just need to copy this uh, this is the this is basically a subnet 192.168.0 just copy that and enter the subnet over here and let's update the stream variable to stream is equal to now we will be listening to that particular network whether some uh, device has been entered to that particular network or not so for discovering that we need to add screen dot listen and this is basically a network address so update as network address and a network address over here if this particular network address dot exists if this particular exists then we will be initializing this class that is this client model so for that client is equal to oops client model and in the host name we will be passing network address dot ip and now let's declare this on data and for when on error occurs so basically now this uh, on data function is for uh, when we get some data from the server uh, we need to update in this list right so for that we need to create a on data function and inside this we will be passing this uint 8 list and let's say data and import this you in it list so now basically this is this uh, data is of data type you in it list right so we need to convert it into string format so for that we need to do string dot from char codes and pass that particular data oops sorry if this is codes and uh, now we will be adding this message in our logs so simply add log dot add and add this particular message and add update oops update for updating the state and when we receive some error we need to handle that right so for that to add on error and basically this is having a data type of dynamic so let's say dynamic error and printing the error import material dot dot now after this we are up going to update this network address to from this particular network that both of that looks too similar so now let's say address yes that's very simple now after this function we need to update the state of application and uh, when uh, so when we type some message and when we send that particular message we need to handle that too, right so for that we will be creating a function for send message and inside this we will be passing a string and uh, we need to write client model dot write and that particular message simple as that so now after this now let's write code for our main ui of application so now i'm quick forwarding this ui part for implementing this ui so guys now you can see i have quickly designed the front end of this application so now after this just wrap this scaffold wrap this under get builder and inside the object you need to pass the client controller and remove the screen and in the builder you just need to pass the controller 
and hit control s so now declare a scaffold key to show some message to the user and after this declare the client club controller get put and the client controller and in the key pass the scaffold key now hit control s so now over here you can see the desktop or slash one two three so to avoid that right here controller dot client model dot typically now you can see over there it is as one two three something like that so to get the ip address we need to add we need to update as address dot as ip and this address can be null now we can see now let's hot reload our application so now here to basically avoid this null safety uh, null safety in this ping discover network so I, actually this ping discover network is not written in null safety but our project is running in null safety so to avoid this kind of issue so simply uh, stop the application and uh, in the terminal run flutter run mm, no sound null safety so uh, you can run in this way too or else in another way also like uh, simply you need to add adderit dot and the version you are going to uh, in version which you are going to use so you can implement in this way too or else you can simply run flutter uh, run uh, no sound null safety so let it run on the side by side now let's keep run high on this so now let's work for this like if the controller dot this client model dot if client model is equal to null or or this controller dot this client model if that is connected if it's not connected then we will be uh, showing this else we will be showing a text message of connected to that particular host name right so for that you need to write controller dot client model dot host name oops there is some error in a let's let's wait for a second okay so now it is built now the app has been built now let's wait for the installation okay i getting an error of null check operator used on null so now let's uh, quickly just comment this code and let's check it out it control as in r in the terminal for hot reloading the application so now you can see the desktop and the ip address in which we are uh, and the ip address of this particular server you just simply need to write if the controller dot address is null then we will be showing a message oops uh, no bracket will be coming over here you will be showing a message of no device found else inside the column and uh, children you will be wrapping this both text now hit control s now in the terminal type r so now you can see no device is found now i am trying to start my server and clicking on this search so simply it is not working because we have not implemented the code for that particular search button so now i am quickly uncommenting this means like if the client model is null and if the uh, if that particular uh, is not connected then we will be showing this message else 
we will be showing this uh, text message as oops i guess we need to remove that comma over there okay now hit control s if the device is not connected to the server then it will show no device found or else that uh, no device found else it will show connected to that particular host name so now just simply click on hot restart shift and r you can see no devices found now i'm trying to click on this uh, now let's search for that search button okay here it is and when we click on this button you need to call this controller dot get ip address uh, you will be calling this uh, function so now hit control s and in the terminal type r and c so now you can see the desktop uh, something 192.168.0 is displayed in the in a screen and so now when i click on that we uh, it has to get connected right so for that we will be implementing the code for that like uh, when we click on that particular desktop you will be writing away controller dot client model dot connect and uh, once it is connected we will be sending a message to server as a connected to we need to get the device name to write so simply just go to client model and just simply copy this info of the device and import this device info and click on uh, write info dot brand brand and dollar info dot that device particular device and hit colon now in the terminal write r and c okay so now let's check when i click on this nothing has happened you can see the connector to technology in the server so basically i am running the application which is totally in my mobile application and through the uh, through the wi-fi it uh, the data transfer hackers uh, when i cl when i click on this uh, desktop 192 a uh, message has been sent to the server uh, and this particular connector to technology has been displayed so basically now when i click on that we need to uh, hide this uh, desktop and this ip address right we need to uh, simply display connected to uh, that particular host name so to do that uh, when you click on this on tap function you simply need to call this set state because it we need to update the state of application so now hit con uh, r and now you can see connected to 192.1 connected to the server and here no server found has been displayed how come so simply search no server found so now you can see no server found has been displayed over here right so uh, so to avoid this if the controller dot a client model is null then we will be displaying this else uh, remove this comma else we will be keeping a button to disconnect from the server right so add a text button so declare a text button and uh, and in the child let's say text of disconnect disconnect from server right disconnect from server and put comma and now in the terminal write r 
so now you can see a button of disconnect from server has been displayed now i'm hot reloading this application so now you can see here no server has been found i have not connected to the server but still the button says not uh, disconnect from the server so to avoid this we need to add a condition for controller dot client model dot if it is connected if it is connected if it's not connected then we will be displaying a text of connect to server else we will be displaying as disconnect from server now hit r in the terminal so now when i click on this button we will be creating a condition for controller dot if the client model is connected if it's connected then if it's already connected means it it will display a disconnect from server right so basically so actually we need to disconnect it from the server so to do that you will be passing uh, sending a message to the server as sending to the server message as disconnected from the android device means uh, disconnected from that particular device name and uh, since we need to add a sync and of it and import this device info now hit control s and add colon and after this we need to disconnect from the server so to do that client model dot disconnect so basically i think we, we can remove this msa because we are passing this uh, android data inside this disconnect so simply remove this message else if it's not connected so simply we are trying to connect it so for that need to simply need to write controller dot client model dot connect now hit control s and r in the terminal and when i click on this button okay so basically we need to update this need to add set state after the functions get over before the function get over so now when i click on this disconnect and uh, r in the terminal now you can see when i when i clicking on disconnect it is getting disconnected from the server and when i click on connect to server just wait for a second and in the log you can see tenoji got disconnected connected to tenoji now we can see the desktop and when i click on that it has been connected when i click on disconnect now hit r the terminal and when i click it's connecting it is actually disconnecting but it's not updating in a status right so okay i got it so basically you need to update this is connected to false now hit control s and r over here and when i click on this disconnect it's actually getting disconnected when i click on that desktop it's getting connected okay now when we type some message in the text field we actually need to send that text message right to write so to do that in the send message in the text in the controller you need to define a controller for that 
let's quickly define a controller for text widget text controller is equals to and this text controller has to be passed inside this text form field controller and this text controller and when we click on that send button you simply need to write controller dot send message and in the message we need to pass controller dot text and now hit control s and r and uh, now you can now let's check whether it's working properly te change something like that and i click on this so nothing is happening right so so now let's check now let's print this print this message we are writing let's check in a server side look actually it had that uh, text we are sending has been is printed over here but actually it's not appending in the list right so let's check for that so now quickly check what's wrong in our code when I'm writing. Print that message and uh, and over here when that particular message is received, that is on on data. Basically, it is declared over here on data. Let's try to print this received data. Debug print. Print this received data. Let's check whether the data is receiving or not. And I click on this same. Okay, so basically we are not connected to the server now I'm clicking on this desktop in the terminal you can see Tenogic connector or something like that now when I click on send let's check in a okay cool so in our uh, server side you can see the text message page over here so now I'm quickly hot restarting this desktop application and uh, in our mobile application that particular data is not added in our log right so it might be added but we are not displaying it so to do that uh, search for this list view and in this children you simply need to pass controller dot logs dot map and to list and in the text we will be displaying that message e as now hit s and hit on r now when i now when i click um, so now let's first connect to the server by clicking that to desktop application desktop and when i click on this page you can see that data has been appended over here and when I enter some data from the desktop application you can see actually it is printed in the mobile application test so now let's quickly improve our code when we send the message so when I am sending those data oops this is server and when i'm sending the data from my mobile application it has to be added in the logs too so to do that logs dot add that those message uh, and 
by adding as me and that particular message and simply need to add update just remove that and hit r and c so now text uh, send a message of something like that now you can see me as stage now in the server side let's improve our code to let's change our code broadcasting message to as and when i send message from the desktop application hello it has been printed hello in the mobile application so basically so now i'm typing some other message let's say hello hi and hit so when i click on that we need to clear that text controller so to do that we simply need to write so copy this save code and in the main dot dart file and after sending the message you need to clear that you need to clear that text controller and hit control s and call this set state now hit control s and in the terminal write r so now after this when i uh, send a message and here to like when we hit on that cross button you need to clear that text message so in that too you need to clear that and when i click hit on this send button you can see on my in the server it has been printed as hi and uh, and from the server side when i write a message like how are you oops how are you and when i click on the send button you can see a text message as how are you if you want to disconnect from the server just simply need to click on that disconnect and in the server side you can see technology got disconnected and when i am clicking again on the desktop application you can see technology got dis uh, connected right so yes that's all for this video guys hope you like this video if you do like this video hit on the like share and subscribe and if you faced any technical issue if you faced any issues drop on the comment section we are happy to we are glad to help you and if you want a video on file transferring between two application do let us know in the comment section